Hello. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to start and configure your own interactive mosaic project. The ability to spin up a feature-rich, embeddable, interactive, and collaborative mosaic is a fundamental part of the online mosaic tool, which you can find a link to in the description below. So let's begin by hitting Get Started. On this page, we can choose to start a new project. So we're going to go ahead and start a new interactive project. On the project homepage, you'll start your project off by uploading a source image. Next, we can add some starter photos using the Add Cells tab here to help jumpstart your project. If you don't have starter photos, you can add photos from our social library using the Add Stock Images button here. Having starter photos will give you an idea of how your mosaic will look like as it builds. If you're looking to embed your mosaic, this will provide you with something tangible in order to embed it to your website. Next, you'll choose the cell count for your mosaic. As a starting point, you'll want a cell count between 3,000 and 5,000 ideally. This number can be changed at any point over the course of your project. If you aren't sure what you want your mosaic to look like, or if you're just looking to create a submission flow or hashtag aggregation, you can use this button at the top of the page, which will take you directly to the interactive and collaboration dashboard. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and hit Create Mosaic. Once the mosaic has been created, you'll end up on our review page. Here you can change certain settings before moving on to the next step. And then we're going to go ahead and confirm these settings and continue. Now that we've made it to our Explore and Confirm page, we can head over to the Interactive and Collaboration dashboard using the Continue to Activations option button here at the top of the page. The top window on this page will allow you to spin up one or more submission flows as well as aggregate hashtags for your project. You can find more detailed videos on how to set these different submission flows up by hitting the Learn button here. Within the bottom window, you can find different activation tools that can be added to your mosaic. Let's go ahead and take a brief look at some of our activation options. First, we'll start off with the interactive and embed options. Here we have several options that you can add to your mosaic. You can find more information regarding what these options are and how to customize them by hitting the Learn button here. To embed your mosaic, you'll simply copy and paste the embed code down here and paste this onto your website. Now, let's take a look at our mosaic updates and background page. Here, you can control how your mosaic is updated and filled over time. Lastly, we have our moderation options. On this page, you can set up how you will moderate the photos submitted to your mosaic. In subsequent videos, we'll cover each of these pages in detail, which you can access through this playlist or by using the Learn buttons found on each page.